everybody, it's Jenny McGarvey, and I am going to share with you today how I planned in my classic size happy planner. You can see last week there where I used the Planner Society kit, and this is the This Is Your Year happy planner. It's a fairly neutral one, and I really do love living using it this year, sorry. And I do anticipate using it throughout the end of the year, but you know, I'm not going to commit to that because different things happen. As you can see, I've got sticky notes to pre-plan for the week. I use whatever I've got on hand. I'm not really too particularly picky as long as it's got enough room for me. I'm going to use these stickers from, I think it's Samantha May Sticks on Etsy. I'll link the shop up in the comments below. I bought this kit because I really loved the navy background with the different florals. It's not something you see all the time. And I also picked up those little thumbtacks because, well, I'm not going to lie, I love thumbtacks in my planner, so here you go. I'm going to use this blue VersaFine ink today. Now, one thing that I want to tell you about it straight up is that it works really well with my stamps from Sweet Stamp Shop. However, it does have more shadowing on the back of the page than the black does. So if shadowing is something that bothers you, you probably want to stay away from this blue. I definitely have more than with the black, which seems crazy to me, but it's probably just some difference in the formulation of these different colors. So as you can see, I've gotten straight to work on Tuesday. I'm just inking up a couple of different box stamps from Sweet Stamp Shop, and that is the round stamp block from Sweet Stamp Shop as well. I am using the blue VersaFine, as I already mentioned, and I didn't have any plans for Monday, so that's why I did not start with Monday. Clever, huh? Anyway, I put down the to-do little header and also then added a checklist from the sticker kit, and these colors are really fun. They're very, very different for me, and I don't know that I would necessarily do that color palette again, but it's not a negative thing, like I dislike it. There's just so many that I do love that I might as well stick with those. Those recycling stickers I use every other week and they are from Lily Henry on Etsy. It's hard to find colors that are just that little recycling symbol and colors that are the palette that I enjoy or the particular color schemes that I enjoy, so that's why I like to use those over and over. As you can see, I am using a gray Papermate flare pen today. That's rare, isn't it? I normally use that black one. I just decided to shake it up a little bit with so much navy. I thought the gray might be a good contrast to that. And I don't know, why not, right? It's just one week. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull out from this Sweet Stamp Shop set the one little stamp that you guys know I love that has the little string tied around the finger. I just think it's such a clever way to mark to-dos. And with the Tombow brush pen, I will link it in the notes, I just wrote the name of the boy that I'm going to drive to school on Wednesday. I obviously added a little bit more text with the pen, but I only needed to highlight the one word. I mean, obviously I could have filled the whole box. There was plenty of room, but I didn't really need that. And so sticking with just the name and then the added little bit of text, I like the way that that all pulls together right there with the stamp. And it just really does stand out, which is the whole goal. Now I'm adding for my to-do list, I kind of layered together a couple of little stickers, the to-do header, but then I also put it on the little flag as well, just for something a little bit different because I do love my sticker layering and it's a good way to be able to do that, especially with a kit like this of this size. It's a really big kit. There's a lot of stickers and absolutely I could conserve them and I am a fan of conservation and stickers. However, I might as well use them too. So. This is the Tombow Dual Brush Pen, and I'm in love with both sides of it. So I figured I'd pull it out to do just the tiniest little bit of special lettering. The pink doesn't match. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't match at all. But it's okay because I love the color, so I'm going to focus on how I love the color, and next week is a whole brand new week. There's that black Papermate Flare Pen. I pulled it out just so that it would match or not match, I'm sorry, it would show up on that navy blue sticker because it's definitely really dark and I needed something that would show up as opposed to that gray pen that I was a little bit fearful it might get lost there. 
Now that stamp set that I have in my hand is the More Tabs from Sweet Stamp Shop. I know that I'm not actually using it, I'm actually using a sticker, but I wanted to talk about it because I love it. It's very modern and linear and graphic, and it has a lot of different options for stamping in my planner, and it's just a really good basic and it's super easy to use. Oh, were you afraid this stamp wasn't going to make an appearance this week? Oh, it did. The favorite stuff to do, which is a super old one from Big Picture Classes, and I don't even think it's for sale, or probably hasn't been for like a year and a half or something like that, but I still love it, and I'm still going to use it. Now it's time to move on. I will have to skip over Friday and move into Saturday after I add my little to-do list. I put it up in the morning because why not? I can, and it is a good place for it since I do most of my to-dos on Friday mornings because I like to reserve Friday afternoons for fun. I use that cute little list stamp. That script is beautiful from Sweet Stamp Shop and I figured it was a good way to just add a little bit something different and I like the juxtaposition of that stamp next to the AP lettering right next to it. Okay, so now for Saturday. I'm using that full block from Basic Tabs from Sweet Stamp Shop. I'm gonna clean it off with my baby wipe and then I will write the information for the baseball game right there in that big block. However, I'm also going to put down the little sticker, which you can see I am sort of staggering or having it hang over the line a little bit into Sunday. I don't have anything necessarily that I need to write for Sunday there, so it's okay. And I love using the lines as a guideline, just sort of having a little bit more of a loosey-goosey approach. It just, to me, feels more natural, and I like the way that that design is as well. So I left the block blank. I saw, I'm sorry, I mentioned that, oh, I was going to write in there, but I forgot to mention that I was actually just leaving it because I didn't have the time for my son's game. So I stamped where it will go, and as soon as I have that, I'll fill that in. You can see I added a couple of decorative elements with the full box stickers, and before you gasp, Monday I have plenty of room, obviously, for any additional things that'll creep up, and Wednesday I chose a stamp or a sticker that could easily be layered over. Now I've used my hexagon punch to punch out some of these strips and I am just going to place those three hexagons up in the morning. I love this, especially with the when you have the contrast between the florals, which are really sort of romantic and feminine, and then the hard, linear, geometric hexagon shape. I love those two things paired together. Now I'm going to just layer the weekend banner right over the top because why not? And I think it actually turned out really cute with the navy background and then the pink from the weekend. Now the last thing that I need to do is add my meal planning across the bottom. So I'll do that in the typical way that I do using this pink Prima chalk ink. And that's pretty much it for me for this week. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box below and I will do my very best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.